Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at queries. Now, often when someone refers to a query, they're actually referring to a specific type, and that is a select query, a query where you are selecting a subset of your information. So you have a table of transactions, and you want to know uh, which transactions are greater than $100, something like that. So very often when people refer to a query, they're actually referring to a select query. There's actually multiple types. There are queries that you can run to get information, as we just said, based on some criteria. But then there are queries that you could run and you can modify the source table that you just ran the query on. So say you want to change a certain code. Uh, originally the code was 001 and for some reason it's become 002. You could actually run a query that says, show me all the ones that are equal to 001, change them to 002. So there's multiple types of queries. I just wanted to throw that out there before we get into this. Okay, in preparation, I modified the employee ID table. I added a, another field, which is easy enough to do. You can just, up here where it says view, you can just go to design view, clicking here, type what you want the name to be, and then choose what type of field it's going to be. I added employee gender. And in addition to that, I uh, just merely went in here and populated them. So we have three that are F and three that are M. So here's how the query works. And again, this is going to be the select type. Click on create, click on query design, and this here is showing you what uh, tables are available to you, uh, as well as uh, once you get, once you select the table, you can choose what fields you want. We're actually going to skip this. We're going to close out of this because what you can do is you can just actually drag and drop them from over here. So okay, I'm going to use employee ID. So we drag and drop. There's the fields. Well, let's get all of them. So a couple things you can do. You can grab the asterisk here. If you do that, if more fields get added to the table, then they'll automatically be added. But if you just want these and you don't want any additional fields, you can do that. So you can click on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one, and then just drag and drop. So down here, shows the field name, shows what table it's coming from. You can sort as far as, do you want to sort ascending, descending, that kind of thing. Do you want to show the field? Because what happens is sometimes you may want to filter based on a field, but you don't want to actually show the field for some reason, because the field is presumed to be a certain value, so you don't need to show it. But we'll leave this here for now. Criteria is, do you want to filter based on a certain value? And that's what we're going to do. So we said employee gender could be F or M. So let's do a quote, F, and then another quote. And when I say a quote, I mean the double quote, which is to the left of the enter key, and you hold shift. And that's it. That's the basic. Ready? We run. There are the three names and the gender. And if we go to the original employee table, you can compare them. So it should be Moira, Jill, and Claire. Sure enough, Moira, Jill, and Claire showed up. So it's that easy to make a select query. And like I said, a lot of times people say query and they don't realize there's different types. Now, if you go to... Okay, so if you click on design view, again, I used the uh, button in the upper left-hand corner. See how select is highlighted? That's what you're saying. You're saying it's a select query. Now, the other type of query that I mentioned is an update. That's this. If you click on update, watch what happens down here. Now, it's saying, well, what do you want to update it to? Well, let's decide, let's say we decide to change from F to actually type in the word female. 
So again, the logic is this is the name of the field. This is the table that field is in. What do you want to update it to? And what's the criteria? Now, I should point out that before you do any kind of update query, you should always, always back up your data, either a copy of the table or export it as a spreadsheet. Uh, always back up your table when you're going to modify it. It's not such a big deal when you're doing a select, but definitely if you're doing an update, uh, that's what you're going to want to do uh, is you're going to want to back up your table first. So let's go ahead and run that. You're about to update three rows. Yep, we uh, when we ran it last time, there were three that met this criteria. Once you click yes, you can't use the undo command to reverse the changes. Are you sure you want to update these records? Yes. Now watch what happens when we go back to employee ID. They were changed from F to female. So just like that, you've now seen how to make two entirely different queries, the select type query and the update query. You can also do um, other types as well, but I think I'll stop for there for this video. I don't want to do too much in one. That way you can uh, take the time to go through some, um, you know, some examples on your own. And if you have any questions, you can just put them into the comments. And then what I'll do is in the next one, we'll look at some of the other types of queries that you can make. So that should do it.